Women's soccer certainly performed at its best over the weekend. They went into the NCAA tournament. Not, no big deal, just 6-0. Ooh, right on to round two, and then they caught a sweet break in that uh, UNC lost, and so the Trojans uh, get to host potentially two games this week. And so we sit down now with the head coach, Kadani McAlpine, the Pac-12 Coach of the Year. Congratulations, Coach. And I, I know you Appreciate called it Staff of the Year, so credit, uh, credit to the whole group, certainly. Uh, you guys just had a tremendous year. We, we've had a pleasure of talking to a bunch of your players. We had Croy on, we had Anna on, we had Penelope on, so we've had, we've had a bunch of, uh, of your players throughout the season. And... Uh, you know, we built up to that UCLA game, as I know you did, and, and, and that was a disappointment. So what did, what did you think of the response of your team to come off that disappointment and just go out there and, and obliterate Grand Canyon over the weekend? Uh, I was really proud of it. I mean, we had two slow starts in the Stanford game and the UCLA game back-to-back, -back, um, gave away 45 minutes. But even our responses in both second halves I thought were, were good. Um, but the, the question was, why are we starting slow? And, and so we spent the week really talking about getting a good start. Um, we got to see a few uh, results uh, across the tournament the day before that, that some upsets happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one that we're, we're not too upset about. Oh, but, no, I know. We should have a real um, tear for it, especially this you know, week. But um, it, it, was, it was good um, because I think it, it, it gives us that focus. It reminds us how, how short our trip could be. Mm-hmm. Um, and how we have to go out and be the best version of ourselves every time. The message is always we're only what we go out and do. And so we had to go out and, and, and uh, now I wasn't expecting what happened, um, <laughs> but but it, it was a fantastic response from everybody. Yeah, let's talk about what happened. Obviously, uh, you've been coaching <laughs> for a bit. You've seen some hat tricks, I'm sure. Yeah. Have you ever seen one in 10 minutes from Croy there? No, no. Croy, Croy put on an absolute show in that. And, and obviously, she wasn't by herself. Her teammates put her in some good positions, but uh, she got into the right spots. She was on. Um, you know, did you call? Did you know in pregame that you're like, oh, we got to no, feed her early? <laughs> no, no, we we were sitting there. We were like trying to press the buttons and trying to keep them sharp and get them ready. Um, and and you know they came out and they they went at them. And I wasn't, I, you know, the first one goes and you're like, okay, great, great start. And, you know, let's go, keep it going. And second one hits and you're like, oh, oh all right, all right, keep it going. Keep it. <laughs> then the third one was just ridiculous. It was just filthy. <laughs> that the that third was just one, filthy. There's a great video that I saw where she she scores, she does a little airplane, yeah. you know, a little a little MJ, yeah, you know, shrug, and then she she ran the whole team and high fives everyone, and then all of a sudden at the last second. You pop out and you're like, I'll take that too. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you even no. got to dap her Absolutely. up a little bit and be like, I'm Absolutely. just just a fan too. That was filthy. <laughs> I mean, I, you have to give her credit. I mean, the the fact that once she picked it up, she she ran at the line. The spacing was good, so I, you know, I was really happy with that. I'm like, okay, Pete got out of there. Everybody was in the right spots, but she turned the first one, invited the second one, and then turned back before the girl even got around the first time to know where she was, and then it was in the back of the net, and you know, you looked at it. And and she knew it. She knew she got her. Um, and so we just all had to enjoy that one. It was it was fantastic. Yeah, because I know on the football side of things, like that's that that's how it should go, right? You you dial up those first three plays, and you're saying, hey, we've been watching the film all week. If yeah, it goes according it. to plan, <laughs> this is how it should work. You're saying, hey, man, that, that's just uh, how the, the the cookie crumbled, so to speak. But I'm curious, the ability to respond that way after UCLA, UCLA loss. What was your message to your team in terms of trying to to get them back on track? Uh, honestly, it was, it was, you know, we had a great season, but at the end of that season, um, what did it really mean? You know, on that Friday for them, because they lost the championship game, it didn't really mean that much to have a great season and to get all the awards. Mm -hmm. They were hurting. And so it was, it was just about refocusing and, and going out and saying, okay, well, we have to start again. We've got a new season. We have a new opportunity. Luckily for us, we did enough in the first part of, of the year that we have a chance to keep playing. Yeah, you have a chance to keep playing. And, and as I mentioned, uh, the second round is Friday at 1.30. Uh, your, your match is at, is at 1.30. It's the second game of a double header, And then hopefully Sweet 16 is Sunday at noon. And so, you know, how is this just – how do you frame this just as an opportunity, right? I mean, it's, yeah. it's only a break if you take the break, right? But but it certainly is a gift. You could be at Chapel Hill right now playing – you know, going up against a legendary program potentially, and it's that's just hard life out there. You know, this is an opportunity. Uh, you know, how, how do they take advantage of it? Well, you, you know, it's not every day you can you can stay at home and sleep in your own bed and, and stay in your routines and not miss class and not worry about this, that, and the other, where you can just go out and, and do what you do. You, you don't have to worry about the weather. Whether it's going to be warm, it's going to be nice. The field is going to be exactly, you know, how you remembered it, um, the, the way it was yesterday and the day before. So for them, it's, it's, it's now just about 
riding the momentum, riding the confidence that we've now gained. Um, so many players got to play. And, and, you know, for us to play a, a name like Penn State, but they're the ones that have to travel cross country. Yep. They're the ones that have to redo their schedule. They're the ones that have to figure out, you know, what their meals are going to look like and where they're <laughs> going to get them. And, and so for us, you know, that's, that's just one less thing that they have to worry about. And it makes it a whole lot easier for us to go out and prepare and feel, feel ready um, to, to take them on and, and uh, know that they've got, they've got a, a lot to look at in, in, in terms of preparing for us. They're probably pumped, too, to come out to the uh, – <laughs> yeah. They probably are. Yeah. Good, point. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Hope it's 90 degrees. Until like that heat hits. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you know, you, you, th- you think about uh, March Madness, and you think you listen to coaches, and they talk about, you know, how the tournament you know play kind of changes. Does, does yeah. the tournament play change during the, after from the regular season to when you guys get into the dance and, and, and you're starting to go? Well, especially for us, it does. Um, you know, most of the conferences in the country have a, a postseason tournament. And so they have an opportunity to kind of get in that rhythm and, and experience what that feels like. Luckily for us, it was a championship game on that yeah. on that Friday. And so we got to feel a little bit yeah. of that that intensity level. Um, and so coming into the tournament, we now know it's a one and done. We, we felt that one and done type feeling. Sort of death. Yeah. And so it, it, it does change. It, it, the urgency, especially for our seniors, right, goes way up yeah. again. You know, you start the season and it's up already, but now it goes up another level. But now the freshmen aren't freshmen anymore. They've played a, a, a lot of great teams. We've played on the road. We've played in front of hostile crowds. They've, they've had some highs. They've had some lows. Um, but but now they know what it is. And, and um, a little bit more trust in, in the information they're getting from the coaches, too, I think. <laughs> so, um, so, again, Kadani McAlpine, his team out there. NCAA tournament, second round is Friday at 1.30 at McAllister Field. And then if they make it, Sweet 16 is Sunday at noon. So let's get out there, use every available seat, and make it a home atmosphere for the women of Troy. Good luck, Coach. And uh, we will be out there as well. Coming up, we will have J.J. in his uh, fancy sweatshirt talking football on Trojans Live.